Hey guys, Sandy here and welcome back to my channel. Today is a follow a sketch Friday. I am going to be using this sketch right here. The link will be down below and of course the sketch is also going to be posted in the Scrapping Reflections Facebook group so when you follow along with the sketch you can post it there and we can all see it and love it. I've got some Scrapping Reflections stencils, a photo of Disneyland, some Spiegel Mom scraps sequins and stars, some gold thickers, and some sprays. Let's see what I can do. Now the first thing I do is grab my splat box thingy here, which is just a cardboard box from an Ikea purchase. And I am using the varying shades of blue mists that I pulled out and I am just spraying them down. Now I thought about bringing out that uh, raspberry colored mist as well because there are a few raspberry sequins in the sequin mix, but ultimately I decided not to go for it. Uh, I didn't want the two colors to mix. The, the blues, if they mixed together, I was cool with it, but I didn't want that raspberry to mix with the blue. So I pulled a stencil print basically just to clean off the stencil a little bit so I could pull the actual layout. Now my plan was to use the stencil printed cardstock as well. However, uh, I set it on my floor and my rolly chair rolled over it and basically ruined it. <laughs> so that went in the bin and now I just have this one right here. So you can totally tell um, that the little castles are in the shape of a large castle and now that I have done that um, I definitely want to do this with ink because uh, I think that that will be really cool as well um, but I like this spray how it turned out too. Now I even had those great little paper towels at the crack of that box and it still sprayed out all over my mat so it just is what it is. Now I am using a sheet of khaki colored cardstock. Uh, and if you could not tell, <laughs> I'm kind of going rogue off of the sketch. Um, it's just happening. I want it, uh, you know, I was thinking about doing hearts because uh, I have a heart stencil on my Scrapping Reflection shop as well. Um, but I really want it to double up the big castle stencil and the little castle stencil. And I really like how it turned out. Like this is, this is fun. Now I am using a photo of a map of Disneyland when it opened. Um, so normally I would think that I put a castle layout or a castle photo here on this castle layout. But I really like the fact that it's kind of an aerial view of the entirety of Disneyland. So I am definitely going with that. So my original idea was going to be to use those little banner pieces underneath of my photo kind of as a base, uh, but that didn't work out. I totally went uh, rogue from what I was originally going to do, but that's okay. I was gonna make some shaker pockets to go with the photo to kind of represent the three photos that are in the sketch that I'm following, but I didn't do that. I, uh, I definitely went rogue off the sketch, but hopefully you'll be able to see a few things from the sketch on my layout and you can at least kind of see where I was coming from. And I didn't just go totally off the, off the rails. So here I have my photo. I did mat it on some of that great new Paige Evans collection. And then I am just kind of using my Nouveau Deluxe Adhesive to build a shelf. Now in the middle of this layout, I ran out of Nouveau Deluxe, but no worries, I have spares. I'm also selling the Nouveau Deluxe uh, on the Scrapping Reflection site. So if you're in need of glue, it is there. Now. I am going to flatten out this glue a little bit and make my line a little bit thicker. And I just did that with the backing from the Fun Foam. And then I'm just dumping out the sequins over top of this big old glue pile. I am going to make sure that the sequins are all in the glue. 
Um, and then I'm just gonna pop them off the page. Whatever's left, we're just gonna push to the side to use for the second time we do this on the page. Um, I liked how it turned out. I'm using that backing again to kind of press the sequins into the glue. Some of the sequins come up, that's okay. There's a lot of sequins on this page, guys, so if some of them come up, it is okay. Now I'm going to use the gold stardust and I'm just sprinkling those on top of the sequins because what I want the stars to do is to fill in the little cracks into those glue bits that um, you know are there and left over that the sequins didn't stick into. Um, don't you guys worry, I'm not gonna make you watch me clean up the staticky stars um, on my craft mat. Now, if you are a Disney fan, you know that a lot of the times Disney is labeled as home. Um, so I just decided to go ahead and use these stickers from the Jen Hadfield collection. And these are called Second Avenue. Uh, fun fact, they're in my shop as well. Um, so I do uh, carry some retail products, um, just some of my favorite things and just collections that I love and I think uh, others will love as well. So those are in there. Now I'm doing the same thing, just on a smaller scale of what I have done up at the top. So we're getting those gold stars sprinkled onto the sequin line here. We're gonna press it down into it and then kind of shake off the excess. And then I took a couple sequins and placed them because you know, can you ever really have too many sequins? I don't know. Not on this layout, you can't. Not on this layout. So I'm going to peel off the gold puffy stickers and kind of tuck them into this sequin line. Now, some of the stickers are on top of the sequins and some of the stickers are kind of tucked and nestled into the sequins. I didn't just want it one way. Um, I like the way that this turned out and it kind of looks like it's one cohesive element instead of a word slapped on top of some sequins. Now I do grab um, the Nouveau uh, again just so I can sprinkle about more sequins because if you have these big old lines of sequins you're going to want more sequins on your page. So yeah, you can't ever have too many sequins. Um, I did just about use every single sequin uh, in the sequin pack. Um, and this one is called Storybook. And if you are interested, I will have the link down below. You can use my code SANDY15 at the Spiegel Mom Scraps shop and get 15% off your order. Now, at the end of the month, I will be leaving the Spiegel Mom Scraps design team. My term is over. Uh, it's been awesome playing with all the sequins. Uh, so make sure that you use that code uh, before the end of the month because I do believe that the code gets turned off. So now I'm just going through some more of my scrapbooking products, just trying to figure out what I want to do. Now I figured I've got castles and I've got bling. So why not add some florals? I mean, why not? To me, it felt like the perfect match. So I'm gonna overlap my gold puffy hearts with my florals and I'm making sure to pick out uh, florals that will coordinate um, with what I've got going on here on the layout. I'm just gonna overlap that right over top of the photo and also a little bit over that sequin line. And then I'm gonna tuck another little flower over here. Now, this might look a little jarring on camera because this is an orange flower that I'm tucking in. However, there is orange in that photo mat and some of the sequins are a deeper peach color. And when you put the orange on there, it reads a little bit more orange than peach. So I've got the label that I originally planned on having underneath of my photo. And I also have this floral, but first I decided I was going to add some more sequins. And then I had to get the new bottle of Nouveau because the old bottle just was not working. The glue would not spit out. 
I am using my Crystal Katana and I picked that up from Amazon. I'll have a link down below for that as well because I do get a lot of questions about what I use to pick up sequins with. Now I was trying it out on the left hand side of the page, did not like it whatsoever. I like it over here, so this is where it's gonna go. I grabbed that uh, last gold puffy heart and go ahead and layer that up over there as well. And then I'm gonna dot my Nouveau Deluxe again and just pull up the little bit of sequins that I have left. We're kind of chilling out here on my craft mat. Um, Cause you know, I've got like an empty package and a little, a little smithering of sequins over here on the mat. So I'm just going to drop those down now I have not uh, journaled on this page. I will think about journaling on this page, um, but it's gonna take a little bit for these sequin lines to dry because that was a lot of wet glue. So I don't want to jar the sequins off or anything like that. We'll figure out if I'm gonna journal on this one or on the following pages that are gonna come after it because I've got a whole series of photos of these like kind of like old photos and renderings of Disneyland. So that is it guys. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you again real soon for another video.